Hi, Don Campbell here. I want to take you through some um, an update on the new Facebook SSL changes. And one of the ways that you can get a free SSL certificate for your site um, is using something called a shared SSL certificate. A lot of hosting providers provide this. I, I don't know all of them. I know that Bluehost and HostGator do, so I assume that many of the other ones do as well. And what, uh, what we're talking about here is this change coming up uh, in October that Facebook is calling the HTTPS migration. What that means is if you've got a custom page tab, like here I've got welcome selected. In this case, I'm using the Small Biz Facebook app um, to allow me to manage my, use my WordPress pages in Facebook. And this content here in the middle all needs to be delivered securely from um, you know, a, a secure server. So for many of us, that's gonna mean changes to how we're hosting our content. And what I wanted to show you is how to use this shared SSL certificate to do that. So here's my page, right? Now, what I need to do next is find out for my hosting provider how this works. Now, in Bluehost, I'll give you this URL. They show you how to go get your username. And you'll see here that even though I have my own domain name, they give me this secure link that I can use and just plug in my username. And now they're sharing their SSL certificate with me, which is kind of cool, right? Um, so what, how do you, how you need to build this URL is to go find your username. And the way you do that is you go into your cPanel, which means you log in to your hosting provider. Many of the hosting providers use something called cPanel. And we're going to scroll down here and I'm finding my username over on the left hand side. And from here, I can go and construct this URL and now I've got a secure link to my WordPress site. Okay. So we can use this now. Uh, for our Facebook pages. Let me show you how to do that. So once you have the URL created, this is mine. Now I'm going to go into my Facebook uh, app. In this case, you're using the Small Biz Facebook app. So we've created this app so you don't have to go in and create your own Facebook app. And you edit the URLs. And what you're going to need to do is go in and replace, they were just HTTP. We need to make them HTTPS and use this new URL that we constructed to the secure server, okay? So that's what we need to do. And, and in this case, for the, sm for the small biz app we're showing, here's the URL I want you to display to non-fans, and here's the one that I want you to display to fans. It's called like gating or reveal on like. Okay, so now that we have the secure URLs and we update the content, the next thing we need to do is go into WordPress and update the site URLs. Okay, now to do that, we're gonna log into our WordPress site. We're gonna go into the admin section and go under settings to general. Now once we're in the general settings, you'll see two entry fields here. One is called the WordPress address and the other is called the site address. And you need to replace those with your new secure URLs that you got, that you we just built a minute ago. Those URLs are going to now um, you know, be your, your URLs for this website. So the one caveat for this approach is that now your URL, when you go to it, is gonna look something like this, all right? And um, what that means is you probably don't want your primary website to have this funky URL. So you're gonna probably want to install a WordPress instance just for managing your Facebook content if you take this approach. Um, so you're gonna have one WordPress instance just for the Facebook stuff with this strange URL, which no one's going to see, right? It's just gonna be baked into your Facebook page. And then your normal URL for for the rest of your content. And that's okay because usually we don't show all the same pages on our Facebook page that we do on our website anyway. On your Facebook page, you just wanna show specific pages to engage people and get them to come over to your website or have a conversation on Facebook. So that's the deal. Now I'm gonna show you another approach in the next video where you can actually get a secure certificate for your domain name and then you could manage both um, your Facebook and your WordPress content um, you know, from the same WordPress site again. But anyway, these are the, this is how you're going to comply with the new Facebook SSL rules. Remember, this is Facebook's rule, not ours. So uh, don't shoot the messenger and get mad at me. Uh, I'm just trying to help, you know, just kind of show you how to prepare your content so that it'll show securely. All right. Thanks a lot. Leave me comments uh, below if uh, something isn't clear or if I can help you out. All right. Thanks.